Well, I, I, grace is simple. I can, quote, I can quote the Bible for you. Go to Romans 16, 16. The law says, greet one another with a holy kiss. Check it out. Check it out. Just tell me, preach it on pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without wasting much time, because um, we have to do it wrong. Someone once told me that before you can be a wealthy person, before you can be rich in Nigeria, you have to be into properties. Put your hands together for one of the um, investors of new properties. That is a correction. But that person actually told me that if you want to be rich in Nigeria, and I was like, what do you mean? Am I an entertainer? And at all, every point in time, an entertainer would always be rich. He did the analysis, and I was shocked. All right. I have the opportunity of doing land law in school, and I realized that the only thing that you can acquire that you need no manager, that you need not even maintain, and it will continue to appreciate is property. All right, and that is why you see a land bought in 2017 for five million naira can be sold for 25 million naira in 2019 without you even going there to maintain or do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an extremely profitable business, all right? Now for me, I am thinking that the CEO of Extreme Properties is one person that has actually seen the future and she has seen the need and taken the lead by going into properties. Those that are here that are into properties would never want to leave that business for any other thing. Mm -hmm. Check Bob. <laughs> all right, so, I want to believe that by the time we all live here today, if you have not started thinking about it, you begin to think about it today that I have to be an investor in real estate business. Because this is a lifetime business. This is a business that you need no manager to continue to make your money. This is a business that appreciates over years. And that is why they become rich and rich and rich every day. All right, without wasting more time, we have four speakers. Right? They will be telling us why real estate. They will be telling us the reason why we need to go into real estate. They will be telling us the benefits. And of course, we also want them to tell us the challenges of being a real estate person. Put your hands together for this young lady, Mrs. Abimbola Ogunawa Afola. <laughs> if only you are happy that she's doing this today. That is the only condition, all right? And of course, I want to say that Abimbala Afolaya wouldn't have been extremely happy. She can't be successful if she doesn't have a settled home. Interesting and surprising thing is that this young and very strong pillar of hers is a down to half person, a young man, a man that is ready to bring everybody that is willing to climb the up is willing to bring them on top and that is why you say behind him those that are older than him beside him those that are younger than him and they work together in harmony please put your hands together for this young handsome man mr okiki apolaino he's an extremely shy person if you find it, him you will just sit at the back of the all tree all right thank you very much god bless you god bless your home and God bless every home that say amen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Invited some of those wonderful and big players in this real estate business to come and talk to us. Come and tell us why you have to be a player in real estate business. And that shows how good-hearted she is. And of course, I know your mentor is going to be extremely proud of you. Mrs. Banner, I'm sure you're proud of her. She looks up to you. She told me so much about it. God bless you. And just let's listen to her for the next few minutes. Put your hands together for our one. Come on, guys. Please, all this apparatus, they're going into it. 
I'm into it already. Like she said, she said, be born, you are already into this. And I know that when I'm into something, I, I just go in with everything, everything. So about extreme properties. Um, okay, we're starting. We're starting at a very low level because we don't really have much. But I know that in like a week time or two weeks time, or let's say a month time, we're actually going to have like, let's say, 50% of everything that we actually want to do. So Extreme Properties is here. It's here to give you an easy way to actually have access to any kind of place you want to get your land, property, office, anywhere. We can actually, we are still starting from like a very, very small and my place. If you want us to come and arrange your house, we can arrange for you if you want it. So we're starting there, but um, if you have friends, people that are actually having problems in getting land, having renovations, you know, wanting to build their property and don't have a way to go about it. It's not the money aspect, we will collect money, but we'll make it very easy for you. So that's um, one of the reasons why we have extra properties. But by God's grace, I think today is 16th of um, June. By um, next month, um, on all social media platforms and everything, we are going to give you what we do, how we do it, how you can easily get us, you know. We have easy access for everybody, your family members, your friends, and everyone. So, um, the one thing I'll say to everybody here, everybody here today, they are my family. Because they say, I, I won't call the old world to come and come and see how my egg is actually going to come out. I'll call the old world where my egg is actually ready. So for you to be here today, you're actually like the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. I won't, if I want to do a party, I'm actually going to do it in a field. But when I want to do this, I called people, like people like my own family, people that I know that when Bimbo is Bimbo, they'll be there. When Bimbo is like extreme, they'll be there. When Bimbo is another version, they'll be there. So I'm saying a very big thank you for taking, this very Sunday, I know a lot of people have what they want to do. But for you guys to come out, thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. So for you that you're here today, you know, you part of those that can actually form the definition of who be boys. That's what she's trying to say. That means we are extremely close people. Of course, for you to share this. My name is Karim Shakirat Ayobami. I am the co-founder of White Rose Properties Limited. I started the real estate business in year 2009. Incorporated my company in year 2011. Sorry, Mr. Consumer, please. Can you, your accent is giving me. <laughs> Since then, I've been in the real estate business till date. Though the road to success is not that very smooth, but we are getting there. First of all, I want to congratulate the woman of substance. The woman who doesn't wait for who doesn't have to wait for anybody to validate her existence. The generous, respectful, hardworking woman. Mrs. Abimbola Ogunlowo Afolayo. We've known each other on Instagram for a while now, but unfortunately, we're just meeting for the first time today, and I'm glad to be here. When she wanted to start Extreme Properties, she contacted me, and I told her that real estate is a very good business. She can start, and I mentored her. I want to tell you today that there's a lot of challenges in real estate a lot of challenges, and in all businesses. So you need a mentor, and you need a lawyer. I have my mentor in the house, Mr. Olavi Jayesimi. He has been with me from the inception. He's a lawyer. In fact, all the staff in my office are lawyers, apart from my receptionist. For you to do real estate, you need lawyers. Because there's so many things that, you need good lawyers that will guide you on how to do it. So, I'm congratulating you today for taking this bold step to join us in the real estate sector in Nigeria. Congratulations. When we talk about the future, sorry, when we talk about the future, we should always have it in mind that yesterday, today was our yesterday's future. The future doesn't just have to be a retirement. The future is tomorrow. The future is you being able to go on your desired vacations that you can't afford today. 
live in your dream homes, attain your desired academic qualifications, and have a less stressful life than you are having today. That is the future. The future is you making tomorrow your employee. I've dropped a little on the concept of savings. The question that remained unanswered in the minds of many potential future leaders is, how best can one save for more assured future? Make no mistake about this. No wealthy man today got rich by leaving his money in a savings account. The best form of investment is investing your today's money in a solid asset that can stand the test of time. And what is more solid than the health itself? The best investment on health is health. Investing in real estate is undoubtedly the most surest savings for the future. In the words of Franklin D. Roosevelt, US president, real estate cannot be lost or stolen, neither can it be carried away. Purchase with common sense, Paid for in full and managed with reasonable care. It is one of the safest investments in the world. Real estate is at the core of almost every business and it is certainly at the core of most people's wealth. In order to build your wealth and improve your business math, you need to know about real estate and invest in it accordingly. Neither a wise man nor a brave man lies down on the tracks of history to wait for the train of the future to run over him. Tomorrow will surely come, and so is the future. But you do not have to wait till tomorrow before you start preparing for it. Because when tomorrow comes, it will surely not wait for you. Prepare for your future today by investing in real estate. Again, I repeat. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. If you have any questions for me, or you want to know more about me, or you want to go into real estate and you don't know how to go about it, you can follow me on Instagram at Bami Karim, or you follow my business page at White Trials Properties. Once again, congratulations, Mrs. Afolayon. I have on the table the brochure of Austria Island. I'm one of the marketing partners of Austria Island. You can invest with us. Thank you very much. And have a good day. How to be a lawyer. Ladies and gentlemen, you need a lawyer in your life. <laughs> Trust me. If you are not a lawyer, then get married to one. <laughs> oh yes, if you are not married to one, of course be a friend of a lawyer. If you are not a friend to a lawyer, be a brother or a sister to a lawyer. If you are not a brother or sister to a lawyer, be a neighbor of a lawyer. And if you are not a neighbor of a lawyer, just try as much as possible. Make one lawyer your concubine. <laughs> they put your hands together for lawyers, ladies and gentlemen. All right, it's question time. Can I have those chairs? Bet you, if you buy a plot of land for one million naira, within the space of time, you can discover that you can sell this thing between three to four million era. And by the time you do your documentation and fencing and all those things, uh, believe me, you are gonna make a huge profit rather than investing in an area that where there are no infrastructure. And like one of the speakers said, infrastructure plays a major role in real estate. If you decide to invest where there are no infrastructure, no electricity, no road, you are going to make money, but com compared to what where they have infrastructure. For example, where I mentioned the uh, Ibeduleki, as I said, Dangote Refinery is, is there. We have the seaport. We have uh, so many investments coming up. In fact, some of the factories are moving towards that area. So by the time you invest in that houses, you are sure that you will reap double of part of this uh, our area here. Yeah. Uh, Saving towards the future, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, saving towards the future is you can decide also to use um, 
um, the tariff, um, the cooperative society, like I mentioned, where a group of people come together and they say, but definitely there must be an MOU. What I mean by MOU is the Memorial of Understanding. We need this, uh, this group of people coming together to come and save and buy land. But the uh, extreme properties, I don't know whether they have one they are currently selling uh, in this area that I've mentioned. But bet, bet you, if you, if you try it, uh, it is one of the fastest ways now to make uh, money compared to when you are marketing properties in, in these houses. Because it takes a time. For example, now, if you say you want to buy a property of 150, 200 million euros, we all know what we are facing in the country right now. Somebody wants to buy a property of 200 million. You must be ready for EFCC. How do you get the money? <laughs> so, those are one of the challenges we face. But when you buy a property of two, three, these are properties that go fast in the market. Two million, three million, five million era. It's easy. Even a salary here now. Uh, one of the uh, real estate company, uh, there was a day they were marketing me. They said, uh, oh God, you can be paying every month to buy a land. Then the question I ask is that, when am I going to build that land? Some of these areas, I doubt it, even I'm 80 years old, I don't think the place will be developed. That's the question I ask. Why would I go and invest money? But if you go to all these houses, where do you have infrastructure? There's that tendency, there's, there's speed acceleration of return in your investment. So when you are saving towards the future, you should know where you are saving towards to. First thing can be our pension fund, whereby you will work. I have, I manage some properties in Lagos where the landlords are, are, are not doing anything. They don't work. If I manage one, the rent per annum, it makes no less than 15 million every year. This property at Lekki. He said he built that property when it was less than 40. When Lekki there was 4 million, 5 million. I'm talking of 95, 96. Lucky face one. So the man makes about 15 million. If I want to collect the money, we'll send it to Canada. So that's part of saving towards the future. So you can invest as a retirement plan in real estate. Real estate. They are not telling us the bad aspect. Was only the lady about that she talked about jazz. <laughs> By the grace of God, I'm a lawyer, and um, when I was practicing law, that is where I fear land cases. So the judge was meant to deliver a judgment on, la on a land matter that morning, and when they're delivering judgments, that's the first thing they would do in the court of law, before they take other cases. So when we entered, entering into the courtroom, I saw these very old men. They were like 45. <laughs> I'm sure like 70% of them were wearing Agbada. You don't know what is under that Agbada. But it was a land judgment. So when the court sat, and it was time for the judgment, and the judge says, and the case of the court, the next thing the judge couldn't speak, he was like, ah, 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 I was there live. The judge coughed, they gave him water. The man attempts to give that judgment again, it was ah, 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 when they were done, my to you But trust me, that day, that judge was unable to deliver that judgment. He rose and he didn't come back to sit. A friend of mine, that this is very sad. Trust me, please, let's have one house. Thank you for coming. A friend of mine, we were called to the same, we were called to the Nigerian bar the same year, and He's interested in land matters. And I got to the chamber and I told him, okay. Perfect me, I write a kite to you. Anything about land, don't do. Right below, I kill me. Get it up. So Goke took a land matter and he started. He was doing very well in court. Extremely brilliant young lawyer. And of course, he, because these old lawyers, some of them would feel very lazy to go and search for the new laws and all that. So he was able to rubbish that lawyer that was representing the other side. Goke won that case. But trust me, after getting the judgment, that was the last day Goke went to court. He died two weeks after. I lost him. 
And when Goke died, I just went to my yoga at the gym. Sir, I'm very good at divorce cases. <laughs> I can do divorce cases, but anything about land matters, sir, please don't send me. <laughs> it's not a joke. Till I left practice, I was doing divorce cases. God forgive me, there are some cases, there are some divorces that we initiate without even the wife knowing. Somebody will represent the wife, somebody will represent the husband, will go and do it in somewhere in the kiri and get the solution of marriage. The man will go and marry another one. Hello, I'm Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for yourselves. We will not stop recognizing people because we will not stop appreciating the fact that they are here. Hello, everybody. My name is Kuju Abin Mola. Actually, my son is Olu Kuju, but uh, some of us, the radicals in the family, have decided to shorten it to Kuju. So we sound like uh, Ghanaians. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have like a um, like single uh, nationality, and I would love to have double. So by going with the name Koju, I will feel like uh, a Ghanaian and Nigerian. Okay, um, the question is why real estate? Um, first and foremost, I want to thank um, the CEO of Extreme Properties for the opportunity to speak this afternoon. And um, we are neighbors, and then I'm so happy to have them um, around us in our estate. Um, real estate is something that is so, so interesting. Interesting. Uh, I sorry. I do investment banking. Uh, I'm a banker, but I'm transiting very soon. So uh, and then one day I was just going, I was flipping through the list of uh, billionaires in the world, and I discovered that 223 people are real estate billionaires. Real estate billionaires. Then um, um, by study, I study statistics. Actually, we met in one JC program in Ibadan some time ago. Uh, I study statistics, and then if you take a look at the statistics of Nigeria, 2019, our population is 200, 200 million, 900 and something, over 200 million. And then if you look at the median of that uh, population, the median age is 17.9. Um, somebody will ask me what's the meaning of that. So if you line all of us in Nigeria, you understand that all of you should um, um, file on a, on a line and then the guy in the middle, the two, the two guys in the middle, they are 17.9 as in their age. So which means we have a very and extremely young population. And the one thing we strike you, okay now, these guys are 17. So which means we have a lot of people that are very, very young in Nigeria. They will stay somewhere when they become 27, 30, 35, 31. And then um, down the line, you know, there was another statistic that said we have um, between 17 and 20 million housing deficit in Nigeria. So which means we have about, uh, if it, the, the population of Nigeria, we are not housing the population enough. And that one, if we put a figure to that, is about $16 billion. So for somebody that loves money like me, one thing will come to mind that, you know what, there's an opportunity here. The first speaker may, mentioned about uh, the stock. Back in the days, uh, 2008, thereabouts, so most, most people, like we, the bankers, were like, ah, stock, ni. we keep putting our funds, all the little money we have, put it in stock. Yes, it was appreciated, and we were like, okay, yeah, we're making some kind of decent money. And boom, there was recession in the world, and I remember I bought um, First Bank uh, for 33 Naira by a unit, and today, First Bank is doing 7 Naira. You understand? So take a look at that. So, and then, then we'll have to take a look at property. For example, where I stay, uh, when I got there, myself and my friend, we did some FX transactions and then we made nine million naira each. And then I took mine to that estate. I bought two plots of land for 4.5 each. Uh, my friend is a glam kind of individual. And then he went to rent an apartment in Nikon Estate for nine million as well. And then, in fact, there was a, there was a joke around that. The wife told me that, ah, Bimbo, you were staying in Victoria and tested the liar's clues. Because when I was building my house, I had to move very close to where I was building. And then, now you now move to Kitu, then you move to back of Punch. You are gradually going to your village. I said, okay, no problem. And then, after a while, my friend cannot sustain the rent. And then, they, I bought two plots. I built one, and then there's one behind me. 
and I sold that one for 18 million naira. And then um, that a lot. We're talking the group party. I think this is you coming from. <laughs> so and then and I was like, if this thing can be this juicy, then I can also just put my all in it. And then I started the business. So what I do basically, is I buy land, leave it to mature, and then resell. And then, so when I bought the one that, I mean, when I saw the land behind me for 18, I took it to my village, Akure. I bought uh, uh, 50 plots for, 18, uh, for 12 million naira. And then the 50 plots today, um, there's a group of guys that are uh, pricing it that they want to buy everything. Da, da, da. I was like, no, it's not the time for me to sell. That I want to sell when it's 4 million naira per. Per, per, per plot, but they're like they're ready now. So I'm still thinking maybe I should just sell, use the money to buy another one. So to call the long story short, real estate is something that is very interesting and it's very good. And then the entry point is, uh, you know, it's, the, it's multifaceted in the sense that if you want to be doing luxury apartments, you understand, you can go into that. And then if you want to enter, you know, a bit low, you, in fact, the, you can meet the CEO of extreme properties. In fact, I, can, I saw some uh, uh, pictures and like I saw, you can just go and meet her, I can help you sell this. It's the fastest way to enter real estate. You know, we, are, we have brothers and sisters abroad and you know, they want to come home and then they want. I was, uh, there was this uh, picture I saw on Instagram, uh, was it, the, the, the guy that spent 13 years in, in, Europe, in Europe. And then he came home, the sister, I don't know what the sister spent that money on. And you know, I can, you know, it was a very funny stuff. So you can meet the CEO of Extreme Properties. That, okay, you know what? For all your offerings, let me have a look at it, and then I can sell. So that's uh, that's um, uh, an entry point, which is a bit very very low for you to go into real estate properties, and then I mean, it's real estate and investment actually. So like um, um, Mrs. Uh, Abut Abuta said earlier on, yes, in every business, business to us. It's, you know, we think business should be like a straight line graph, but it's never like that. It's like undulating. You understand? There are, so I, there, I was involved in one particular transaction. Right now, the guy who took us to court on, uh, on Thursday is about 1.5 billion transaction. That's the flip side of real estate. But all you need to know, like she said, know the kind of people you're dealing with, and then um, let talk to your lawyers often, and then from there, you won't have much mistake in there. Uh, real estate. So, um, I'm so sorry I have to call this ratio because I have some other guys waiting for me downstairs. Uh, that's why I have to like jump the gun too. This man loves money. Yeah. And that is why he has gone into real estate. He bought 50 plots of land in Akure about three years ago at 12 million. And they are begging him to sell. That means if he had, he bought um, 50 plots of land um, for about 240,000 naira per plot, okay? And they're begging him to sell the same plot of land at 4 million per one. This is about three years after or thereabout. That means what he bought for 12 million, they're begging him to sell for 200 million by calculation. That is extremely too much profit as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> for 12 million, Three years after, there are about 200 million. But you see, that is how real properties is actually. And, and that is why I believe for anybody that looks into the future, you should think of being a partner, if not a big player in real estate business. So many of our ladies believe in buying gold, so they'll tell you, I think they won't want any to tie down money, all right? But it cannot fetch you the kind of profit margin that real estate would obviously give to you. So I think we should go home and start to think, do I actually want to be a player in this business? I have taken that decision for quite some time now, and I know that probably very soon, I'll call you to open my own real estate too. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. And point at me and say, Femi, so shall it be for you.
Et tu vas sauver si il y a un Je m'en vas sauver. Mais c'est un ami social. Alléluia. Amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for yourselves. Okay, without wasting more time. Um, yeah, I've been into real estate business for a while. And uh, when we talk of uh, property business, I think he, he has made a landmark in that uh, sector. Um, I'm all protocol really observe. Um, real estate business in Nigeria. Real estate business in Nigeria emerged to be one of the most popular and uh, profitable business in Nigeria, which you all know. We know that there's no how you invest in real estate or anything landed like property that you ever depreciate. It's always appreciated over time. Most people buying houses in home is the largest, knows that it's the largest investment to made up. And uh, nobody that will go into it that will ever get in the business. A lot of questions pops up on the future of real estate in Nigeria, all over the world. And uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of profits, prospects is, uh, we all know, is in, into the business. Um, like Yoruba added that says, we all know that the ever, the most, the, the, the best business ever, or investment anybody can ever put his money in, is to real estate. Now, however, several years from now, this agent, uh, real estate uh, this agent will have a free, uh, we have stress-free performance around compliance and paperwork because there will be an amazing technology experience like e-commerce. In the future, real estate will, be not, will not be a buy and sell industry. It will be a great investment with a long lifespan that will transform into an aspect, as, asset that will have its life cycle to private use and investment and uh, share assets. Also, investors will enjoy a massive benefit and uh, a generous opportunity that real estate to give. In terms of re uh, returns and investment, you to keep appreciating in, in and out. Your, invest your investment will keep thanking you for a long time because there is no way you put your money anytime you go back to it and look at it. You understand God. Gone are those days when we invest our money in stock and shares. I think many people now know that there is no other investment that is as good as real estate or property. Investors will choose to do with their landed property as there will be more innovative option on how to keep their investment more beneficial to them over time. Investors will be able to invest in property virtually without seeing them Virtual reality will make it possible to interactively walk through a home and see even if the dynamics of the details of the details is the best to put your money in. Also, those who have choose to choose to invest into into real estate will benefit from efficient with easier sales transaction. There is no there is no investment, there is no real estate investment that you put your money in. That over time, when you choose to realize your money back, easily you get it. it might take a little time. But you get more than times two or three of what you have invested in that business. That's one good thing about it. So we encourage people, for those who are planning to go into it and those who are already into it, there's no other way you can put your money in except in this business that we are in. And I believe the person who has chosen to go into this business must have done a feasibility study, must have done a lot of uh, SWAT uh, analysis, and by now she will know that definitely it's a good business. No doubt about it. Conclusively, the future of real estate is, going, is only going to be fruitful and profitable for those smart investors. When we say smart investors, yes, a lot of, we have a lot of people that invest in a lot of things, but it takes wisdom to invest smartly in a business that you have a foresight. It's all about foresight. Investing in real estate does not mean you are getting the money immediately. But sometimes you just close your eyes, put your money there, 
and just go back and sleep. So before you know it, <laughs> you will be surprised that, okay, you have really done a good thing for yourself. Now, if you are seeking to invest in real estate, don't have, and you don't have understanding, and you don't have understanding and the trend in the market, it is good you contact those who are also already in the business. They will guide you, put you through, before you put any of any amount in any business, any real estate business, you must make sure you contact those who are ready to business that will really guide you. It's very, very important. You don't just invest your money in a business that number one, may probably maybe the land or the property is not genuine. A lot of things you need to check through your lawyer, through professionals in the field and all that. Well, now that we have uh, extreme properties for some of us who are also interested to now, at least we know the office and I think we'll go to them and uh, make a lot of inquiries and invest a lot of uh, money into them and I believe it's going to be a place where, where you put a time, you get multiple of it over time. Everybody? Yeah. Okay, this is a lot of data, Buta. A.K.A. Yeah, Graciano. Mm. Okay. My son's name is Graciano and um, I'm Madame Gracias as well. The name of my small real estate firm is Gracias Global Property. And by God's grace, we started three years ago. And today, <laughs> we thank God for his mercies. Mm, you know, but it's just God. At times, <clears throat> you find yourself in a phase in life that you never expected to be in 20 years. But because God has ordained you to be there, somehow you just find yourself there. And I want to tell Bimbo, where is Bimbo? I know she has been into this for quite a, uh, well, for some years. You've been doing, with, uh, doing it with Daddy. And I'm sure you know it is not easy. But people will be like, ah, ah, Laura De, hmm, you this small girl. Uh, you are enjoying it like that. I say, okay, I'm not enjoying it though. But it's just that I don't have a choice. Because in Nigeria, for you to see something that will give you correct money, legitimately, or tough. So when you find yourself there, you just have to, you know, and like I was telling Sindolo earlier, even armed robbers, before they go to rob, they do some uh, short in box. So it's nothing is easy. Even at times it's some kind of corner like this and they will just say, oh God, what kind of life is this? So nothing is easy. Real estate is not easy. Some people will say, ah, hey, you are lucky. I say, okay, there are days that they will come and use phone photo for show us some sites. We will not post that one on Instagram. There are some times that we will buy properties, they will put juju that we cannot even go close to the juju at all. We will not post that on Instagram. There are some constructions that you will commence and some people will come and demolish. You will post that on Instagram. So it is not as easy as it looks. It is not as easy as it looks. But uh, by God's grace, at the long run, the prophet wants the Pajawili's uh, chest and all that. At the end of the day, you will smile to the back. So Bimbo, and the Bimbo extreme. Congratulations to you, my sister from another mother. I congratulate you. Like I said, I just I just dropped a comment on your Instagram. You have started on a big note. But by the special grace of God, this will be your list, the list of your achievement. It is big to start with. But in the long run, you will go places and you have results, and this will be the list of what you will achieve in the real estate industry by the special grace of God. So we are all here to encourage you, we are here to support you. We cannot support you financially because you are Yala yet. I'm sure we are not here to donate anything, but we are here to support you morally and let you know that we are all together. If there's anything you need from me, anything, and if I need your help, so I'll call you. So if there's anything you need from me, I'll always be there for you. But trust me, it is not easy. So all the our fans, you know, they should be praying for you. So because at times I'm only will give you some kind of juju to, to collect money from you. You understand? It's not easy. It's not easy. But uh, God that has made it easy for me, because that's so easy for me, I must confess. There's always a way out. So God will make it easy for you and you will prosper in this business. And to everybody here, real estate, you don't have to be, um, you, don't, you, don't have, you don't have to own a property firm to make money in real estate. You can generate incomes from rent, you have rental incomes, 
when you buy properties, you call it speculation, you speculate, you buy when it is cheap, you sell after a couple of years. But I'll tell you something in real estate, it's not all real estate, um, yeah, it's not all property business that is profitable. If you have to invest, please invest in places that make sense. Because there are some properties you buy in some areas for 10, 15 years, the appreciation is so little. And there are some places you buy for two, three years, you make like 200%, 300% uh, profit in less than um, uh, a year or thereabouts. So if you, they are lawyers, but they do not know about properties. If you contact them, they will mislead you because of their 5%. So if you have to contact a lawyer, contact a property lawyer. And if you have to buy a property, please ask questions. Make sure you invest in areas that you make good return on your investment. Don't go and buy some places that they have red sands there. And at the end of four or five years, you cannot make 50% of what you invest in. That you invest in, that is not good for property. But if you buy right, if you buy in some very good places, you make awesome um, um, in, um, profits on your investment. So you do not have to open a real estate firm to make money in real estate, no. There are ways to go about it. So thank you, I think that is all for now. But this child, when growing up, needs to pay school fee and all. Who should take responsibility of that? The father. Father is our fathers are the investor. The mother lives while the father invests. Ah. Men are in trouble. Because when she came out, her company name is Gracious. That is our, our son's name. And I observed that that thing is peculiar to women, mothers. You tend to take your children above your husband. You can imagine. And without that husband, you can't have that child. Please. Emma Liwapa. I'm begging. I mean, it's, it's concerned. Today is Father's Day. No one has said Happy Father's Day. Or if they are celebrating Mother's Day. Ah! I mean, you feel, you feel it on Instagram. Sometimes it gets to me. I should have come a woman alone. But it's okay, please think about it.